All right, this is Brunga Rosita. That's First Lieutenant, uh, is it Laud? Laud, Laud. Uh, they are the 52nd Engineers, correct? Let's say Infantry Battalion. Uh, 65th. 65th. Anyways. And CMO Battalion. They're all a bunch of awesome AFP. We're here, they're in the back, and we have a bunch of goods. Dude, you guys are like hardcore, I like it. Uh, we gotta sort out some stuff here and talk to the Brun guy, and I'll explain more later, but they transported... They transported Kumar. <laughs> Go on song, ride. Enjoy your ride. Enjoy your ride. Garo. Garo. Ate, you see more pangalan. Mayet, mayet. Mayet. We met Ate Mayet the other day. Uh, and so after Lido? Lakaba. Uh, you were in the house under the Le Mesa, right? Yes, yes. With the flying house. Um, but we're gonna go find the Brungai captain with her now. Or the house. And uh, we're gonna hopefully set up some positive things to Tabang. Tabang Gamai Kinabuhi. Tabang Gamai Kinabuhi Gamai. Walumi Kabuok. You're very Kuskan, Ate. Oh. And salamat sa AFP. Yeah, so... they are the young angel. <laughs> no, they're the angel. They're the angels over there. <laughs> oh, money siya mutabang. My inventory. Money siya mutabang. Ah, uh, oh, you're magimo. Okay. Everyone's working hard. I'll show you. Okay, long my video. Hey, hello. Oh, how are you? Money dia. Money dia. Ah, guba. <laughs> like I said, I'll talk to you later. This is what happens when I talk to a GoPro. <laughs> oh, thank you, Brad. Support, support, AFP, support, Pali Hug. Pali Hug, AFP. <laughs> thank you, Brad. Wanted the app. Okay, here's what's happening. First off, we're just gonna set up a generator that I bought with a whole bunch of gasoline and leave it for the Brungai. They have no generators here and no access to electricity. This would be for a Brungai charging point that they can use uh, for their cell phones, for lights, for whatever. And we're leaving them more than 100 liters of gasoline, so uh, everyone's coordinating. The army has been coordinating. Army's, again, super thankful for their support because it's really making it very positive seeing everyone interact. Myself, Kumar, Dana, the LGU, the army, the locals. And yeah, so we'll start first with the generator. Kumar is going to teach them how to use it. Hi. And then we'll carry from there. Hello! <laughs> People waving when they drive past. <laughs> Hello, Bob. Yes! Energy! Yes! Yes! Good job, Kumar! Good job. <laughs> nice one, nice one, nice one, energy. Thank you, Lieutenant. Nice one. What's really interesting is Danagat Island doesn't actually have any army. The army is here after the storm. The province itself doesn't have an AFP camp. So for a lot of these guys too, this is the first time they've ever seen AFP. And what they're doing now is all of our decision making, it's myself, the AFP, Dana and Kumar, and we talk about it all and decide how we want to do this. So for example, we want a generator first because now at least they can you know, they're good, good vibe, they're stoked, they have electricity, they can charge phones, they can look at things, they can have a little mental health break, they can, when Sidna comes back, talk to people. But now, we're all deciding where to put the rest of the stuff, and we're talking with Brungai Captain, and uh, we're trying to find a nice, solid community area, so hopefully they can be inspired as a community to work together, and they can all manage the materials together as a community. I've, I've told them, uh, you know, this is a great opportunity for them to set an awesome example. I feel like they have the vibe here, so that's what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go over and pick an area to secure all the goods together so the community can use them and at least start picking away at their lives here and then making it better.
just to give you guys some perspective, eight people hid under this table and it saved their lives because their entire house flew away and collapsed on them. And then the other night, there was some bad weather and so they rushed this table into another house to hide under it. Um, and literally, the Nana and the Tida are two of the eight people who are under this table, are literally right behind you. Show, show Nana and Tida. Hello Tida. Hello Nana. Nana. Gelang, gelang. Gelang, gelang. So, again, people, people really are strong here, but it's also important to remember they've gone through an absolute intense experience. So, just remember that people are strong. Kuskan Duri, Kalipai Duri, Pero Masli Sorga Ayo, and Gabika Hadlock on Begio. So, so important to respect and, and do your best to help. And, uh, but, Kaya, Buhi Buhi. Kaya. And think positive. Think positive. Yes! Yes, Enjoy! <laughs> Kaya? <laughs> Bugat bro, 25 kilos. <laughs> Bugat. <laughs> Ang sunod na po na sin, i-dumpin lang sa sakili. Okay, tabo na po din na ito. Ayan din na ito, ibutaran ko po ba. I think, Kumar, they call this the AFP style. They're building a community temporary shelter for yeah. everything, so that way it motivates the community as well to distribute and work together. And this is a cool concept. They're putting the euro underneath with the near on top. It's kind of like uh, protect all the other goods from the Ulan. Okay, thank you, Brungai Rosita. Thank you, everyone. Salamat, salamat, salamat. Adios. Uh, we're gonna leave this here. They built this cool shelter for it, all the supplies. Thank you, everybody, AFP, Norms, myself, everyone in the LGU, all of you guys. Kaya, Kaya na, Kalipai. I'm ping, I'm ping, I'm ping, I'm ping. Balik, Balik Pohon. Thank you. Nice one. <laughs> Bye. on the drone uh, this is San Jose the capital of the Nagat and it is also devastated but yeah people are still working hard and I, I think I wish you could feel what we felt earlier in that barangay in Lipo because it was such a positive experience and I'm really excited for that barangay and I'm also excited for you know just 
seeing this place get better day by day. I'm here at the port. We're gonna ride this boat. It's uh, 180 pesos. Should take about an hour to an hour and a half to get to Surgao City. Meantime, gotta go say goodbye to the AFP. So we'll do that and then I'll see you somewhere on the other side. I'm really tired. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I need to take a nap on this boat, so see you in a bit. chickens they really 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 just love it here editing I've been editing and writing stories and just working the past few days but before we say or move on or explain anything let's go see the gangster chickens up close see if they allow me to get near them they're so big now Big moment. Are we friends? Oh, that's pretty close. Sorry, guys. Sorry, gangster chickens. I think that's the closest Kumar they've ever let me get to them. Huh? That's the closest the gangster chickens have ever let me get to them. What? The, the gangster chickens, they're hanging out right there. <laughs> yeah, they let me get about, I think, four feet away from them before they ran away. Dude, it is. Non stop every day, it just blows through the clouds and wind and rain. There's a speck of sun right now. <laughs> That's the first sun I think we've seen in the past few days. Welcome to Ami Han season. Welcome to Ami Han season. That's what, again, that's why I have so much respect for everybody who's yeah. uh, going around and uh, doing relief operations or, or just trying to help out because it is really hard right now. Um, when we were went to that fishing village, for example, uh, City of My Too Big, it was actually signal number one, and um, you know, going up that in, inlet, you know, it's it's just uh, it's really difficult. Kumar is packing his life away because he's gonna leave today. Go, go away, go away. Go away. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna work for a bit, drink this coffee, talk to you more soon. Uh, what do we eat in town? No point cooking. get the escabeche sauce to dip their own isda into it. That is... Only legends know, bro. You know, it's quite uh, fitting because a second ago when we sat down, uh, the song was Smile by Eraserhead, no? Yeah, and it's... You'll get by with a smile. And... Yeah, we'll talk about that a little bit more uh, in a minute. But for now, we're back here. Kumar's eating his last meal before he's going to take off to <laughs> take off to uh, up north. And the next time you're going to see Kumar is going to be when we do our second relief operation, maybe about just under a week from now. So we're going to eat and talk about stuff. You'll get by with a smile. See you in a bit. We're in Katiyo and Poblacion. This is Edwards. With a smile, bread. With a smile. With halang. Gabby, really? Yeah, man. Why not coconut?
what you're looking at right now is actually a monument to commemorate Typhoon Pablo, uh, which hit here in December 2012 in Cataeel. And I just wanted to end this video by, you know, showing you a few drone shots there of the beauty of Cataeel and just the Pabachan and the river and the rice and the greenery and you know the life. And Cataeel got hit really, 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 really bad uh, back in 2012. But as you can see now, and even with our lives here, it's recovered. And, you know, I just think that's really important to remember. Uh, unfortunately, every year, you know, somewhere in the Philippines gets hit, or a lot of places in the Philippines get hit really hard by typhoons, but things will get better. And I just wanted to say that uh, things, things will get better one day at a time. So thank you, everybody who is involved in, uh, you know, uh, the inspiring messages and helping us with coordination and, and you know the donations that went through norms they were able to you know distribute there everything is really effective and positive and we are going back January 9th in the evening uh, we should start heading out and Kumar will be with me I think John Lee might be coming as well I think Commander Dao might be getting involved and and we're trying our best to do one more relief operation and and try and just uh, you know help give people a little bit more inspiration and strength to keep powering on because when they do you know life continues and things eventually do get better um, Katiel and everybody here in this town knows knows that you know they've been through that before so I'm, I'm confident that everybody across the country affected by Typhoon Odette you can keep powering on um, and with that you know I found it really ironic that we went to the Karinderia earlier and and the song that's playing is You'll get by with a smile. Na 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 na. It's really true, you know. It really just takes having a positive attitude and, and a smile to to kind of forge greater, more positive, powerful things to to happen in your life and the world around you, no matter what you're going through. So let's keep it up. Let's keep doing that. This is a monument again for everybody who's affected by Pablo and. And I just wanted to show you guys that and talk a little bit about, you know, how people will recover and places recover and then we all power on. So with that, Kumar's gone. It's just me at the beach house right now. I'm going to go see Mama Rose maybe and hang out. I'm also thinking, guys, uh, well, over the next kind of four or five days, if I do decide to vlog, you'll probably just see regular life stuff. And that's because even for me, as much as I'll be coordinating and doing things behind the scenes before our next relief operation, I also need to carry on, you know, just living my life and, and, and doing things, interacting in a positive way. And it's really important for my mental health too. I have to be honest, it can be very, very intense. And I just wanna, you know, also focus on little positive things in my life here. So that's what I'm gonna be up to. I'm also thinking about going live on YouTube if you want me to do that, just cause I think it'd be nice for me to just, just talk to you guys and, and, you know, get things off my mind and share things and just be positive and interact. So, okay. Let me know if you'd be game for me to do that. Maybe I'll do it tomorrow morning. Uh, today is January the 3rd. Have a wonderful morning, day, afternoon, evening. Thank you everyone who's getting involved for the second relief operation. Uh, just check my Facebook page. Empty.